G'day friends, welcome to today's video about journaling on a budget. I've got a bunch of handmade modern art supplies here. These are from Target in the States, a very, very affordable set of art supplies. And I wanted to grab a bunch of different things, put them together in a journal spread and play very mixed media style. And let's just see if we could come up. Well, I mean, I already know, but <laughs> just to see what we could do with some art supplies that were a lot more budget friendly, because heaven knows we all get carried away and want to buy everything all the time at the greatest cost to ourselves. So I wanted to put together something a little bit more affordable and uh, and see what the results were, see how everything compared. So I'm gonna go through everything and just do a bit of a price breakdown. I got this 24 set of uh, watercolors here that were 19.99 or 19.95, I'm pretty sure it was 99, uh, which works out to be about 83 cents per, per half pan, which I think is pretty affordable. They do actually have a watercolor tube set, a 12 count for $2.99 is what it's listed as on the uh, on the website, which means it's 25 cents uh, per, <laughs> per tube. So that would be the most economical way to go, but I don't know if the formulation's the same. We'll have a chat about that in a second. Um, it also comes with that beautiful little wooden box. I got this 10 count of assorted brushes for 10 bucks, so about a dollar each. Really, really great set of synthetic brushes. I got these, uh, they said like non-erasable, but like a permanent chalk marker. marker. There's eight of those and they are $8.99. So it's about $1.12 each. And I got this portrait pack of pencils for $4.99. And there was 12 in there. So that works to be about 42 cents each. I hope my math was correct on all of that. Suffice to say, they're all very inexpensive uh, compared to a lot of the stuff that we want to be buying. So I just wanted to see how they all work. Swatch them out a little bit, have a bit of a play with them. I'm going to share my thoughts on what I think is worth it and what I think uh, you might be able to find elsewhere. I uh, The pencils, to me, are, they definitely feel like $0.42 cents each. I do think they've put together a really impressive color palette, especially for a portrait pack. You rarely see portrait packs that are that inclusive of all those tones. So I was really, really impressed with that. And I think they do get the job done. They can just leave a really waxy residue, which can be a little difficult to work with. The permanent chalk markers are a straight up dupe for the American Crafts ones. I can't be sure that they come from the same factory, but they work exactly the same way. The only thing I would say about them is that the colors are a little dull. And, uh, and they're not my favorite type of paint marker to use, those chalk markers, but they do actually work. So um, I'm not gonna write them off just yet. I'll share my thoughts in a minute. This watercolor palette was the surprise winner for me. It I thought it would be really, really chalky. You can see that, I mean, it is a cheaper watercolor. There's not really a lot of, uh, like they're very opaque watercolors, but I run my finger over it and I'll show you in a second. There was no chalky transfer. There was no residue of that, you know, dusty, Kind of pigment laying on top or any of the binder or anything so they kind of impressed me with that because these are very very affordable and a really great set i mean look at those colors you could probably do without one or two of the blues i had to be honest i would have uh, maybe put an indigo in there instead of one of those uh maybe cerulean type colors but yeah what are you gonna do <laughs> it is uh it's actually just a really great set i had a good time working with it and you know they re-wet out of those pans really really beautifully i think the box is a bit of a novelty it seems like it's made from balsa wood which you know i don't believe it's coated and spraying those and using a lot of water with your watercolors i'm, I'm not quite sure how well the box will last or you know stand up and there's no mixing palette in there so you might want to put just a little bit of a um maybe an acetate sheet in there or maybe something that you could mix on top of just in case you wanted to but there's enough colors to not have to really mix so uh you know just take it with a grain of salt i guess it is a cute box though anyway oh and it came with two brushes which was a bonus this is where I started, and I just left this in here because I wanted to show you that literally not everything goes to plan. <laughs> and I, I just went nuts with this, let's say that, and I couldn't do anything with it, you know? <laughs> I tried to put the paint over the top, it just wasn't working for me, so I just abandoned it. I thought, you know what, you don't have to save this, just get a new journal, start again. What are you going to do? So uh, I did, I did just that, abandoned that one, started again, and I was much happier for it. I think, uh, you know, as, as far as the products go, I think we should probably talk about that a little bit more because I want to tell you how they work and what my opinions are. Please, my opinions are my own opinions. And, you know, we are critiquing a Target, you know, very inexpensive brand of art supplies that are most probably definitely private labeled from a company somewhere that does a lot of different private labeling. As far as I know, I haven't used anything that seemed, uh, you know, 
kind of similar to this, except for the chalk markers. They seem very American crafts to me. And, uh, and I honestly, I feel like it's just maybe from the same company. I can't say that for sure, so don't quote me on it. But just knowing my experience with those, uh, you don't see too many of those, you know, exact same barrel, almost the same color. It's <laughs> like, to me, it seems like those uh, might come from that, that, that uh, manufacturing company, which I don't know what it is, but it's all speculation. It's all hearsay. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, because they're so inexpensive, you wouldn't expect that Target has their own art, you know, chemist somewhere and that they're formulating all of this stuff it is most probably uh available in some other form like it, it labeled some other way but i haven't really come across watercolors that work like this my mungo watercolors work a little differently i do believe they might be a little more expensive um and i believe they're they probably work a little bit better than these but i think these are you know don't write these off these are really really great for someone that is looking to you know be super budget friendly also if you're looking to uh, get kids into it and you don't want to give them those really really chalky cake uh, watercolors. I think you know the ones I'm talking about. They come in little circles. There's like 50 colors to a pack and they are straight up chalk. You just put water in it and paint with your chalk. They're great. Look, we've all used them. And to be honest, I used them two months ago uh, when I was at some event. We were, um, it was at church. We we're doing a creative night at church and they had all these watercolors out. It was actually kind of fun to go back to it and see how you know, difficult it was to use them, because <laughs> I used to use them, they were like the first watercolor set that I got when I wanted to get into mixed media properly, and I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a shame, because sometimes all of these inexpensive art supplies can be a lot harder to use, and I don't think it's a really fair representation of using the medium, do you know what I mean? Sometimes I wish that beginners could use um, something that was a lot more expensive just so they would know like it's not really your fault half the time <laughs> sometimes you are just working against the product but I think doing this is a great way to show you that there are art supplies out there that are very inexpensive that would be great for beginners or great for people on a budget and we've all been there some of us are still there and I think you know this this video has probably been a long time coming I just apologize for that I've, I've been through Target a billion times I love the handmade modern acrylic paints those little tubs they're about two bucks for a little two fluid ounce of paint and i use them all the time but i just never picked up anything else and it was actually on instagram uh michael towers or m towers maybe i think it's towers <laughs> sorry um I've, m towers on instagram either way uh reached out to me and said have you seen this uh, little uh, wooden box of watercolors from handmade modern. I, I said no, I hadn't I hadn't tried it I'd seen it when I walked by but I didn't know and he kind of just uh, sparked off this idea that I thought You know I should just go and buy a bunch of stuff and see if I could make a little mixed media kit with some stuff from Target because it is so affordable and and I think it's a, it'd be a great place to start if some of this stuff actually worked well and so I'm gonna give you you know kind of my summary here and uh, maybe a little prematurely but I think if you are starting out with mixed media and you want to build and add a few things to your collection, I, I might recommend this watercolor set if you don't want to go for the Mungyo. If you think the Mungyo palette that I had listed ages ago, I don't even know if it's still available anymore. I think it's listed as Sergeant Art. But I've, uh, if you go to my links down below, I have an Amazon storefront that has lots of lists. So if you go to the paints one in there, you'll see it's listed in there. Um, if you're looking for something cheaper than that and you want a bunch of different colors to play with, or even if you're buying this for kids, or if you're getting this for a friend that maybe just wants to dabble or maybe just have a little bit of fun, or you've got a friend that just likes to, you know, splash watercolor onto a page before they start journaling, you know, they're not really into doing anything crazy with watercolor. This is a great set. And I, I think I'm definitely going to give it my stamp of approval for being a great, uh, inexpensive product. The other thing that I might recommend, obviously the handmade modern acrylic paints. I can't rave about them enough. <laughs> Try the metallics as well. Those are actually really beautiful too. And the chalkboard paint I love because it's so rich and it's such a deep black and it dries with such a great surface to work on. You can keep the tooth of the paper, but it's also pretty matte. These studio lights kind of make it show up a little bit more uh, of a satin finish than it is, but it's very matte to work on. White pens, like white gel pens work great over the top of it, and uh, sort of pastels and crayons. It's, it's a really great paint. It's the chalkboard uh, finish of the Handmade Modern. The other thing that I might recommend is the paint pen. I think the chalk markers, uh, look, I'm not going to recommend them, but I'm also not going to say don't get them. <laughs> I prefer a paint marker where the paint actually comes out as paint. 
Um, when I'm using these kind of markers that come out a bit more like, you know, really opaque ink, kind of acrylic ink perhaps, I'm not quite sure what the formula is. I think they just run a little streaky, which is fine. You just let it dry and then go over it again, maybe two or three times. And they're very buildable like that. And that's completely fine too. I will definitely have a use for these. I just think this is one of those products where you're kind of working against, uh, you know, the enjoyment of actually using it. So I would probably go and spend your $9 on getting two paint pens that you actually do want to use, like two colors from you know, a Montana acrylic paint marker or the Posca acrylic paint markers are really great. I love the Posca ones. I actually love the brush tip Posca ones. I would probably buy a couple of those rather than the whole set of this chalk markers. But if you do want a set of these colors, maybe you want to draw on photos or glossy surfaces and stuff like that, or you just want to have a bit of a play, you know, they're buildable. So you want to work with that. And I think even the, the watercolors, I will say some of the colors, you can really build the saturation by layering it on top. So uh, but they're, they're pretty good to re-wet straight out of the pan and they are, they're a really nice color story and they're actually quite vibrant. So, you know, I think, I think you're pretty good with the watercolors. I think as far as the pencils go, I'm not quite sure. I feel like they're a little better than Crayola, but not by much. So it, I think it really comes down to the fact, you know, if you want a set of pencils that are cheap and that, you know, will work for, you know, some of them work better than others. I think that's kind of the way with uh, cheaper pencils because some pigments are just better to lay down and some are just harder to, you know, it costs more money to make a really great white pencil. So, you know, it, it's kind of hit and miss with some of the colors in that range. But I do want to commend Handmade Modern or whoever picked that color story out because it is by far the most inclusive color story that I've seen. And I think it gets props just for that. But some of the pencils do work really well and then some of them are just kind of a miss for me especially the white uh, in, you know, some of the, one of those brown shades just really doesn't work very well, but some of them do. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to teeter on the fence with the pencils and uh, the brushes, the brushes do molt a little bit. Some of them, I, th I don't think the ferrule's been clamped in that well. Uh, and some of the bristles will come loose, but I think for a dollar a brush, if you want a sample pack, that's also a great way to go. Some of I actually have a bunch of these brushes um, already and I do like them. So I am going to recommend the brushes. I don't know if it's the most affordable way to go about it. You could probably get a, a, a better sampler pack from Michaels, uh, but you got to be careful because some of those sampler packs, they just fill like it looks like, oh great, there's 50 in this one, but some of them, they just fill with those, you know, those plastic bristle brushes that just really don't work and they'll, they'll eat through your paper and it just won't be a fun time. So as far as synthetic brushes go, I think, you know, these ones are great because there's a lot of different variety in it and that might help. I don't think they'll last very long is what I'm saying, but it might help you to get, uh, to know which kind of a brush you like to use. You might not know that you like to use, you know, these paddle brushes or angle brushes or round brushes or fan brushes. You might not know that until you've tried one of these. So I, uh, I'd probably pick up the brush set as well. There's a bunch of other stuff that I haven't covered and I haven't purchased. Uh, like they have watercolors straight from the tubes. They have, uh, you know, they have watercolor pencils. They have calligraphy pens and brush pens and stuff like that. So if you have tried anything else from the handmade modern range that you uh, didn't hear about today, let me know in the comments below what it was and if you would recommend it, or if there is a workaround that you think is completely fine and it really doesn't uh, hinder your process. I think that's what I really wanted to get to is I wanted to know if could I just sit down and have a great time with these and bar me actually ruining the first <laughs> sample I did. I, I really liked how this came out. I think it's really whimsical. I think it's really fun. Um, it's, it's always great to work and pop these colors with a black background. And I think, you know, as far as mixed media go, goes, these all mixed really well together. These products worked well together. And I think it'd be a great little starter set for someone if they were looking to build, you know, a, a, a bit of a bundle pretty quickly and pretty um, inexpensively. Is that even a word? <laughs> Back to making out words. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. I know it was a lot of information, but I want to thank you for watching. Um, click the like button. I've forgotten to say that like literally every video since I said it last time. <laughs> <laughs> click, click the like button or uh, click the dislike button too. If you really don't like it, then that's completely fine with me. I don't know if it makes a difference. <laughs> you got to stay humble, don't you? Um, and I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you pick up some handmade modern art supplies, please let me know how they go for you. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.